Trust me, I'll be getting to you a little bit later. He knew the clock was empty. Somehow he knew. Question there, Miles. I'm already aware of that, Edgeworth. about that, Edgeworth? Oh, I have proof. Wasn't it you who actually told me that proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof you like so much. The evidence that proves when the clockwork was, rem was removed. Oh, I got you this time, Edgeworth. <laughs> Take a look at this. Take that! Take a look at this! Maya's cell phone. I feel bad for the big fella. Let's hear the conversation, shall we? Now, for this part, I'm going to shut up briefly. to the court? Just how did you know that this weapon was a clock? Can't answer this question. Sure about 
about that. Yes, I do. Witness claims she had seen it before, but th this directly contradicts a piece of evidence already submitted to this court. Undeniable proof. Sure about that? was never in any store, ever. A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world. And the one that isn't here is in police custody. Sure about that? Miss May, I think it's high time you want shopping for a better excuse. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuses are not on sale today? No other way she could have known that the thinker was a clock. And I 
can show you the proof. Gladly, Your Honor. Right here. Have a look at this. I found this in Miss May's hotel room. Miss April May? You were tapping the victim! Missing me a phase phone, were you not? Objection! Irrelevant? I think not. Objection overruled! Sorry, Edgeworth! Just claim it, I know. Absolutely. That is my line, Mr. Ajor. I think I can! It's simple. Here's my proof. The proof that the victim said on the phone that the weapon was a clock. <laughs> oh, yes. Present the defendant's cell phone. <clears throat> Whistle once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. Right there. Miss April May? You used to want us to have to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew that the thinker was a cop. Am I wrong? Objection! Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? The defendant defa demands an answer. Answer the question. Did you tap her phone? <laughs> Miss May. What a joke. She's lying. She is a huge liar. That did it. The court's seen the real April May now. Now to deal the final blow, baby. <laughs> Oh, yes. Gotcha! Why did she tap her phone? Answer the question. Mm-mm. 
were tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. Well, Miss May, do you have an, ex an explanation for the court? Can you prove you had nothing to do with this murder, even though you were tapping her phone? Not bad. Explain it then. Yes. Yes, I know. I drink the stuff myself. Yes, I know that. It's irrelevant. I know what it is! That is a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. I disagree. Sorry, Mr. Edgeworth. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. That's not happening. Oh, yes I do. Call the hotel bellboy as a witness. There's something suspicious here, and I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. Objection! What's your reason for that? Thank you. 